A level chemistry is by far my easiest A level and it can be yours too. Now everyone does say that chemistry is the hardest A level and fair enough, it is a hard A level, but trust me, there's tips on how to get through it and I promise you, you're gonna get through it. Watch to the end of this video to understand why I'm telling you it gets easy and why it can be easy and why it was my easiest A level. I'm gonna run through the best revision techniques, what to do during exam season, which is currently, and how you can just revise throughout the year. I'm gonna run through exam season first because that's probably why you're watching this video. You got exams coming up and you've left this late, but don't worry. I'm gonna run you through how to use your past papers correctly because past papers are the most important thing about A-level chemistry. I'm gonna talk more about them in this video. Now I'm selling a set of pre-made Anki decks for A-level AQE chemistry. These are made by an A-star student. It's been used by people who've got A's and A-stars. Now these decks will be linked in my bio with um, like chemistry cheat sheets as well for organic synthesis. If you're interested in these, go purchase them. I genuinely think pre-made Anki decks are the best thing you can have. If I had them, for dentistry right now at uni, I would definitely buy them. Ankydex takes so long to make and it's just like, is 20 pounds not worth six months of your life? It takes hours every day to make these. You can save so much time by just revising these instead of buying new decks or instead of making new decks. So if you're interested in getting these decks, then it will just be linked in the description. But I'm also gonna talk you through how you can revise without using these decks. In this video, it's gonna be a mix of with the decks and without the decks. So. Just watch and you'll understand why. I'll, I'll have it structured up for you. There'll be an example of the decks on screen. They use the close feature, which is proven to work. I use this feature right now uh, when I make my own Ankies, which take me ages, but yeah, um, it's worth it. Now, the way that you can use these cards is either as your main source of revision, revise using these cards and then answer past paper questions, topic questions, anything from physics and math tutor, or you can use that as your side revision. So you do your main revision on YouTube notes, textbook, and then you just go through these Anki decks as like testing yourself alongside questions. So I'll get to revision throughout the year later in the video, but I know it's exam season, so I'm gonna tell you what you can do now during exam season to do well in your exam. Now with chemistry, the most important thing is past papers, as I mentioned earlier. Questions are genuinely repeated just with different numbers in it. And you'll have questions repeated from any past paper. It will just come up again. Do as many past papers as you can. Physics and maths to provide you with everything. Just go on there and answer as many questions as you can. Now, as a quick source of revision, you can use like the long videos, you know, like the two hour YouTube videos that these guys make that runs through like a summary of A-level chemistry. You can watch them videos, but I didn't find them that useful when I use them, but I know some people do. So if you want, you can use them videos, make notes on it, reread your notes, answer past paper questions, update your notes with the mark scheme of the past paper questions. What you can also do is use the Anki decks that I am selling or your own Anki decks or other people's Anki decks. Use these Anki decks to understand the content. You initially need to understand the content. You can do this either with YouTube videos or the decks or a notebook. Now, when I was in college, I used YouTube videos, but because there's a lot of YouTube videos to run through, I suggest you watch them in two times speed. And just try to jot down as much as you can and make as many notes as you can on the topic that you're learning. Now, I mentioned something about notes and past paper questions. What to do is get your notes, read them whilst answering past paper questions. So answering topic questions, look at your notes, look back, see if it matches up with the questions. And then what you're gonna do is go through the mark scheme and add anything that you missed out. So now you have an updated set of notes. This means that your notes are gonna be perfect and a day or two before your exams, you're gonna be able to reread these notes and have it all in your head. And whilst answering questions, whilst reading your notes, helps the notes get into your head. Do as many questions as you can on physics and maths, so that's the most important thing right now. A-level chemistry, I have so many friends that got A's and A-stars in A-level chemistry and the reason behind it is because they did past paper questions. I literally asked them for this video, what did you do in A-level chemistry? Past paper question, past paper question. All you need for chemistry is past paper questions, is what they tell me. But you do need to understand the content before you do the questions. So in terms of your revision right now, it's either using YouTube videos, Anki decks or textbooks to understand the content, making notes, using the notes to answer past paper questions. And that's what you need to do over this next month that you've got exams. Now in terms of revision throughout the year, this is what you need to do. The big change I made in college was listening in class. Ask as many questions as you can. Every little detail about anything you don't understand, ask a question about it. Because chemistry is complicated and the person teaching you knows the ins and outs of it so they can explain it to you and make it less complicated to you. Make notes in class just off of anything that you miss, any extra things that the teacher says. What we used to get was handouts of the class, which was like the PowerPoint printed out into like paper. So. All the content was there, I'll just like draw an arrow, write something about it, and then go home and revise off of the lesson pretty much, and then use a YouTube video. Now, I keep returning to YouTube videos. My source of origin was YouTube videos. You can also use notebooks and uh, the textbooks like CGP. 
Um, I didn't read as much, so I preferred watching. And my top, my go-to YouTubers were Alary Chemistry and Elliot Rintel. I watched their whiteboard tutorials or just Elliot Rintel had longer videos, which is good for like hard topics such as NMR. I'll make notes on these videos. Uh, after the lessons, I'll just watch videos on these just so I can have it all fresh in my mind. And then I'll do questions on the topic or subtopic. Now, if you do have the Anki decks throughout the year, what you can do is just do, these, do the lesson that you got taught, do the Anki deck once you get home. If there's anything that was mentioned in the lesson that wasn't in, your, in the pre-made Anki decks, just add it and then just keep on top of your reviews. Genuinely, if you keep on top of your reviews throughout the year, I, I can pretty much guarantee an A or A star, but I can't do that because I don't want to get sued. And for chemistry, just put a time aside to do uh, topic questions, maybe like once a week or something. So once you finish the topic, do questions. It's really useful. But yeah, these are the different methods of revision throughout the year. If you're using the Anki cards, add to it if there's anything that's missed and keep on top of the reviews or make your own notes off of CGP or YouTube videos and reread them notes. When I was in college, genuinely the reason I got A-star was probably because of Aluri Chemistry and Elliot Rental. I put other subjects in it as well, don't just focus on chemistry, but have that set out as how much revision you're going to do every day for each subject, just so you can follow it and you don't procrastinate. This makes you more efficient and more productive with your revision. Now, definitely do past papers and enjoy the past papers whilst you're doing them because there's no such thing in uni as past papers. So yeah, that's what I obviously do well in college and high school, I guess. I don't really use past papers in high school, but I used a lot of them in college. Depending on the time of year you're watching this video, it's gonna differ from what parts of the video you're gonna watch. Obviously, a lot of you are gonna watch this final minute, so exams are coming up, good luck. If you're watching this, September, November, October, December, then fair enough, well done. Uh, you're doing the right thing by watching this video. The quality might not be great, but the content is amazing. Uh, I hope. Other than that, good luck with your exams. If you need any help, message me on Instagram at studyplate, TikTok studyplate, or get into contact my email. All my details will be in the description. And yeah, I upload daily on TikTok. So if you want any study, motivation, content, help, it's on my TikTok at studyplate.